All right, hi guys, I'm back. So the last video we went over how to lay out a 16 inch center. Uh, today I wanna to talk about how to lay out a 24 inch center, which is again, something that'll work for full sheets of plywood or drywall or whatever you're using. Again, our plywood's typically four feet wide or by eight feet wide. So you could run it eight feet long and it would land on center or you could run it four feet wide and it would land on center. So I, in the last video, I went over how to lay out a 16 inch center and how to crown your lumber. So again, if you're laying out something with a two foot center, we want to do the same thing. We want to make sure the crowns of our lumber are up, okay? We would have our bottom plate or top plate in this case. It could be a floor joist system with typically they'd be 16 inch centers. Um, but we're going to need to do wall plates in this particular case. We want to make sure they're flush. Um, and as you recall, we're going to install a two by four in between here. Right, we're going to install it so that we're going to build a wall cab, a wall with our two by four, and our two by four is one and a half inches thick, is is what it is. So it's one and a half by three and a half. Uh, we're only concerned about the one and a half inch thick, thick dimension in this particular case. We're going to take our wall studs, we're going to put them together. I always mark an X on the end because we know. We're gonna have a full stud on the end here that's gonna be flush with the with the end. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure down here. Instead of going 16 inches on center, we're gonna do 24 inches on center this time. So we're gonna to go to two feet, four feet, six feet, eight feet, 10 feet, 12 feet, 16, and so on. This is just eight feet long to demonstrate. So I'm gonna to go to two feet, 24 inches. I'm gonna fall back again. One, two, three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna put my mark, all right, again, I want to fall back three quarters because that's half the thickness of my two by four. So I fall back three quarters of an inch. All right, one and a half inches thick divided by two is three quarters of an inch. So 23 and a quarter. The next one I'm going to do is 48 minus one, two, three quarters. I'm going to put my X to this side of the line, to the left side of the line, so that the middle of my two by four lands right there. The next one I'll do is six feet. I'm gonna do one, two, three quarters back. And this one, I'm gonna mark an X on the end and put a stud flush on the end. So now, I'll take my framing square. Again, I'm gonna use the tongue of the square and I'm gonna square across here. on both sides of my square. And now if I've done everything properly, as you'll see, when I lay it out, I'm gonna have two feet is in the middle of where my stud location is gonna be, four feet in the middle of where my stud location is gonna be, six feet, eight feet, and so on. So, to build this wall, I would separate it, the bottom plate and the top plate. I would install my studs like so. It would be on the ground and I would nail them through there with two 16 penny nails. So, um, okay, in this video, we learned how to lay out 24 inches on center on a top and bottom plate of a two by four. Uh, hope you're having a great day, thanks.